So it's going to be the best car mounted Qi charger. Specifically, the best non MagSafe car mounted Qi charger. Is it going to be this one, or this one, or this one, or that one, or this one, or this one? <laughs> Seriously guys, look how many chargers we have mounted in Aaron's car. <laughs> Real usage. How much should we spend on all these chargers? Um, let me check. Wait, you're driving, let me check. <laughs> beep, boop, 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 beep, boop, 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 beep. We spent $1,000 for this video. Wow. <laughs> It's a lot of car mounts. So Val, break it down. Which mounts did we buy? We got products from YOLO, IOTI, Pataka, Magback, Choey Tech, Spigen, Skosh, Moshi, Mouse, and Quadlock. So for the rest of this video, I'm gonna talk about the design as well as the charge speeds. I'm gonna show everything that Aaron talks about and also talk about the functionality of these chargers. And then after that, we're gonna give you our top picks. Roll the review. For design, we looked at the maximum wattage, if there's an included cigarette adapter, the number and quality of mounting pads, all the places that you can mount it, the quality of the cable, and the device mounting hardware. We also took into account how many different parts you had to buy in order to get a car charger. Like, to get your iPhone working with the quad lock, you kind of had to get four different things. Yeah, there's kits for it, but still, you had to get four different things for it. Now, out of all the chargers we tested, all but one provided 10 watts of power. The mouse charger provided 15 watts of charger, which is probably why it's going to be good for non-iPhone users. Now we're not going to bore with the mundane details, but we will point out products with unique design features and tell you how they all rank from a design perspective after that. When it comes to cigarette adapters, mouse had the smallest one. It's tiny to the point where you think it might get stuck in the actual cigarette adapter, but don't worry, there's a tiny handle. It's just so cute. Wait a second, did you just call an iPhone accessory cute? Uh... Mouse also had the highest quality cable in the test group, which was kind of neat to find. Skosh, with the steady boost, had a different approach to mounting your iPhone as they include a plethora of things to attempt to stick to your device. This gives potential users a bit more longevity with their charger than other products that require a special case, like Pataka. Skosh is also the only company to include cable clips for you to use in your car, which is just so smart. The product that looked the fanciest was the one from Pataka, with its carbon fiber center and shiny edges, and oddly enough, it's actually one of the cheaper ones. And also, if you bought any of the Pataka products recently, you, you'll definitely know what we're talking about with the funky overbearing spray that they use in their boxes. It really does smell really bad. <laughs> Why do you keep smelling it? It's, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what it smells like and it's like, it smells like cheap cologne or something like, or like a grandma's house or like. I'm still sticking with a brothel. That's what a brothel smells like. I've never been to a brothel, I? so I don't know what that would smell like. I figure all the stuff that goes on in a brothel, that... <laughs> I feel like if we burnt it, it would be like an incense where like everything smells like it. Let's not burn it, let's bury it. It's about here, smell it. I know what it smells like, it smells so bad. Like I've wiped down the actual unit with like a rubbing like alcohol solution like every single day for like the last 10 days and it still smells so bad. And like it gets on your hands. <laughs> you're right. And you're like all day you're like, is this what a brothel smells like? I don't know, Aaron, is that what a brothel smells like? I don't know, but I'm assuming. It smells like old curtains or something. <laughs> I feel bad for the person that like has to like spray it. Like it's coming down the assembly line and they're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But someone thought that was a great smell. They were like, they're gonna open this box and be like, mm. mm. musk. <laughs> mm, brothel, <laughs> takes me back. <laughs> The Moshi Snap 2 charger had a vent mount hidden in the base of the charger, which is kind of neat. The Magback setup was fun to deal with as you end up having to deal with both the charger as well as the device at certain times. I'm honestly still trying to figure out if I'm looking at this product through like really rosy glasses because I really do like Magback's wallet case thing. Like it's one of my favorite things to use. Pretty sure you are since it ranks last in terms of design. Huh. Guess our rating system and unbiased reviews actually work. So here are the rankings based on our design criteria. First is the Yellow Volt, followed by the Skosh, and then the IOTI. Most does well from a design standpoint, and despite being the cheapest product, the Choey Tech is in the middle of the pack, which is kind of neat. So why does the Yolo Volt come out on top? Because Yolo! <laughs> Yolo includes everything you need to mount your device in your car, and I mean everything. Cables, adapters, pads, and a vent mount attachment. It's got the attachment arm, and the vent mount attachment, and it's only 60 bucks, which actually makes it one of the cheaper products that we bought for this video. What? 
<laughs> That's right, Val. It's a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Val's going to break down the functionality for you guys. When it comes to functionality, we looked at the different angles that each mount provided, as well as the ease of use for the mounting systems. We also paid attention to the noise levels of each charger. That's right, noise levels, because some of these chargers sound terrible. So if you're driving silently in contemplation, reflecting on all the bad decisions you've made in your life, products like the YOLO Volt might not be worth getting. In general, the standard looking car mount provided the best viewing angles. Products like the YOLO Volt and the IOTI have a similar telescopic tilt and rotating head. In general, these products have the most flexibility when it comes to where you can use your car mounts. The MagMag system is also a good product in terms of functionality because it'll never really get in the way and you can technically tuck your device anywhere you want. The only downside is that you need to permanently mount magnets into your car, which personally, I would never do. And the only other mount that offered something different in terms of viewing angles was the Skoji Steady Boost with its double pivoting base. Now for the mounting system score, we looked at how easily you could mount your iPhone or device into the charger. Some of the products like the Yolo Volt and IOTI automatic clamping mount will clamp and release your device automatically. Both of these products run much quieter than the first generation remote car mounts that were out about five or six years ago. So this is one from probably four or five years ago. Like it's so loud. This is the IOTI. Old one. New one. So quiet. When it comes to dumb mounting, yes, the word dumb is in quotation marks, we've tested older mounts, but we generally like the mounts without a bottom rack. The bottom rack tends to get in the way. This isn't a problem with products like the Spigen Steady Boost, and from what Aaron has told me, he's never had issues with his phone falling out of the mount, and he's been using these products for years. The most annoying product to mount your iPhone with is gonna be the Joey Tech. The clicking sound is just horrible. Some brands like Magback, Pataka, Quadlock, Moshi, and Mouse have created specialized mounts that work with their cases, which make it really easy to move your device to and from your car. Out of all the ones we tested, the worst one to use is gonna be the quad lock because it uses a mechanical way of attaching to the Qi charger instead of magnets. And aside from that, it's just terrible to use. It feels like you're wrestling with your phone every time you wanna mount it. Honestly, I'd only get the quad lock product if I needed to mount my device on anything else but a car. Now, one of the things we've noticed over the last couple of weeks is that quad lock ads are showing up all over the place and that really bothers us. So we're wondering, should we do a full on quad lock review to set the record straight? Let us know in the comment section below. And I won't promise anything, but I'm pretty sure I can make Aaron rant. Now between the Magback, Pataka, Moshi, and Mouse, I'd recommend going with the Mouse because with this setup, you'd have a decent tough case and it also works with accessories. But if you're not terrible with your devices, then go with the Magback setup. The magnet mounting for the car is a little annoying because you can't put your iPhone anywhere in your eye line, so it's always too low. But the Magback has one of the better wallet accessories and the charger is incredibly fast. How fast? Keep watching. Now we didn't plan on including noise levels in our scoring, but some of these products are loud, which seems odd to say because something that's wireless should be quiet. Out of the 10 products that we tested, three had fans that were audible in our studio and one was audible in our car. The loudest charger in our test group was the Yola Volt. Honestly, it was crazy how loud it was, but once you get your car on, get your phone in, oh. Can you hear that? <laughs> so if you put your fan on, that's not too bad. Our music. Static. <laughs> that's what I drive to. <laughs> now I'll be honest with you, I really still don't see the appeal of wireless Qi charging mag. Safe charging is mildly better, but if I really wanted the best charging experience, I'd still go with a wired connection. But I do know after doing all these videos for all these years, I'm kind of in the minority on this and I really don't know why, you know, despite my rationale, which I'll elaborate in a bit. Now, as we mentioned earlier, every charger except for the mouse one tops at a 10 watts. So for iPhone users, you don't actually get to use the 10 watts. So with the iPhone, you get seven and a half watts out of the 10 watts. So it's really like 
it's not a lot of power going to your iPhone compared to, especially to the 20 watts that you get from wire chargers. So, so how do we test the charge speeds? So if you're finding what we've done here, again, we spent a grand to review all these. None of this was given to us. So yay, unsponsored reviews, unbiased content. What can you do, Val, to help us out? You can buy all your products through our Amazon links. That's right. What else can you do? Support us through Patreon. What else can you do? Hit subscribe. What else can you do? <laughs> Hit the notification bell. What else can you do? Oh my God, what am I missing? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> So when we first started testing products for this video, we thought it was gonna be really painful to test the charge speeds in the winter outside in our cars. But not really because at the end of the day, I was gonna be the one doing all the testing in my car and Aaron was gonna be in here nice and cozy with Monty, but <laughs> I didn't have to do that. Did you know you can buy a cigarette adapter that plugs into a regular home outlet? Yep. You can. So that's what we use to test all the charge speeds in, in the warmth of our studio. For each product, we measured the charge times from 10 to 50% on an iPhone 12 mini several times and then took the average. When it comes to pure charge speed, the charger that comes out on top in this video is the charger from Magback. One of the charges has had the Magback charger coming close to the speed to the MagSafe charger, which is kind of cool to see. Not quite as fast, but it was close. Overall, it took the Magback on average 57 minutes to bring the iPhone 12 mini from 10 to 50%. That's twice as fast as the products from Spigen and Choi Tech, which took 115 to 123 minutes respectively. The iAudi product was next at 69 minutes, followed by the Pataka product at 71. And here's where the rest of the products stacked up in terms of charge speeds. Now, honestly, I was disappointed with the charge speeds from Scosh, mostly because it's Canada's number one mount that can't be actually shipped to Canada from Scosh's website. Haha. <laughs> now, before you hit the Amazon link to buy the Magback charger, keep in mind that Qi charging, despite easy to use, is terribly slow when compared to a wire charger. It takes under 20 minutes for a 20 watt charger to get the iPhone 12 mini from 10 to 50. The fastest charger here took three times as that, the slowest six times as that. So unless you're spending a lot of time in the car, if you need something to top off your device during a short commute, well, get another 20 watt charger. And if you don't have an outlet in your car, well, well, we're still working on that video. So if you're on the fence about getting an actual Qi charger, one of the things to consider is kind of how long your commute is. So I would think, you know, it takes 40 minutes to charge an iPhone 12 mini between like, 20 and 30 percent so you know if your commute one way is 40 percent or 40 minutes long then yeah sure go get a, a chi charger because you'll get a third of your iphone charge back but like a 40 minute long commute is pretty terrible well, like i like yeah i wouldn't do that but if you get a wired connection you'd be able to uh get a full charge in that time period instead of a tiny amount of charge so yeah just food just you know some criteria for you guys so after all that we let monty crunch the numbers and did you guys notice that monty got a haircut because val did not I didn't i felt so bad <laughs> and the worst product in this list is Quadlock, it is the most expensive product in this group, requires you to buy a bunch of add-ons like the actual Qi charging head. The mount thing is $80 by itself. Seriously, from a functionality standpoint, it's just annoying to use in the car and you know, the charge speed is just very, very average. All things considered, I poured $130 into the system and well, if you saw in the video, it's trying to do this to mount the iPhone is annoying. So annoying. So annoying. <laughs> Now to keep this video a little shorter, we're gonna skip to number five. If you need to know the details about the products from Mouse, Moshi, Skosh, and Spigen, check out the pinned comment. Number five goes to the Choi Tech charger. It does well in our ranking system because it's so cheap. 20 bucks for a mounted Qi charger, that price point might be low enough to negate the fact that it's terrible to use, terrible to listen to, and is the slowest charger in our group. And it doesn't come with a cigarette adapter. The adapter might be a problem for people with newer cars, but if you're a cheap ass like Aaron, <laughs> who won't buy a new car, it's not gonna be an issue. I wanna drop my car into the ground. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Number four. Oh, Monty's awake. Goes to the mag back. If, 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 if you buy all the accessories, like, you know, with the quad lock, you have to buy several different things before you actually get the full car wireless charging setup running. Uh, but once you get going, 
it's pretty slick. Again, my biggest gripe are the viewing angles in the car because they're just kind of not in your eye line. But the rest of the accessories, you know, are pretty great. That wall thing is pretty awesome. The table stand thing isn't that bad either. Number three goes to the Vitaka Maggie Z Chi Mount. This is one of the cheaper mounts that look nice. It has a smaller footprint and it doesn't really get in the way. The only downside is that you're going to need to have a Pataka case on it in order to use it. And those cases aren't cheap. Oh my God, that smell. Number two goes, wait, I'm doing number two. Why don't I get to do number one? Sucks to be you. <laughs> well, it goes to the Yolo Volt. I'm a little sad now. There was a tie, it was a tie for number one, but because the Yolo Volt, as you saw earlier in the video, is a noisy little unit, we decided to make it second. Honestly, if you drive a loud car, like a ricer, <laughs> the noise of the Yolo Volt really isn't gonna bother you. Or if you're really into 90s dance music, I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. The noise of this uh, charger isn't gonna bother you. The Yolo product is one of the lower price products that, we, as we mentioned, it offers dash, window, vent mounting. It's got one of the most flexible setups that you can possibly get. And from a charge rate perspective, it's, it's above average. So the number one case, or not the case, the number one. Go ahead, make my day. <laughs> I'm doing number one. Uh, <laughs> uh, so here's a little Easter egg for you guys. Remember how we listed all the products at the beginning of this video? Those were actually in the order of the top 10. So again, if you found a Roundup useful, um, get your preferred mount through our links. Again, it's unsponsored content. She's still looking at me, isn't she? Number one goes to the IOTI automatic clamping mount. This one offers the fastest charging experience, the remote clamp works well, and the cigarette adapter comes with a spare USB socket, which is handy. It's reasonably priced, and it's going to work with any iPhone case for however long the charger lasts, which is important. That's one of the downsides of the custom case plus car mount setups like the quad lock or the mag back. With the YOLO and IOTI products, you don't have to worry about that. So that's all we got for this video. Questions, comments, leave them down there. First time watching one of our videos, I do encourage you guys to click subscribe. Again, if this was helpful, get your stuff through our what? Amazon links. <laughs> if you want to take your support further, what else can you do? Support us through Patreon. That's right. That's all we got. What do we say, Monty? Thanks for watching. Please don't crash. <laughs> Editing this is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> oh, it's got so many angles. <laughs> I we're gonna turn them off. I don't sound like that. <laughs> I don't sound like that.